Taylor Swift and Harry Styles reunite, Billie Eilish apologizes to Megan Thee Stallion, and Beyonce makes history at the 2021 Grammy Awards. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your Grammys Roundup, but before we begin, make sure you have hit that sub like and bell button for all the latest on your favorite celebs. Now let's start with Beyonce because last night she won her 28th Grammy for Best R&B Performance, meaning she has the most Grammys of all time. The good news keeps coming though because Beyonce's nine-year-old daughter Blue also won a Grammy for a song she was featured on. And Megan Thee Stallion collected several awards last night, including one with Beyonce for Best Rap Performance for the hit song Savage. However, she did lose one award to Billie Eilish for Record of the Year. Billie was very surprised during her acceptance speech and said she felt embarrassed by winning an award that she believed belonged to Megan. In her speech, Billy said that she jokingly planned to shout out Megan if she won because she didn't think it would be possible, but then she felt embarrassed that it happened and that Megan deserved it, really. Billy then went on to say, you are so beautiful, you are so talented, you deserve everything in the world. I think about you constantly, I root for you always, you deserve it, honestly. A lot of people praised Billy for her speech, but some were also annoyed about the situation, comparing it to times that Adele and Macklemore apologized for winning. Billy's fans also went on to defend her, as they believe Billy may have felt inclined to apologize to Megan in fear of backlash from other fan groups. To be honest, this show has lost a little bit of its meaning since Abel was snubbed. Speaking of snubs, where do I begin? Not only did the Grammys have some big award snubs, but legendary artist Selena began to trend online after the Grammys glossed over her Lifetime Achievement Award. The award was hyped up during the week, but apparently the acknowledgement was over in a matter of seconds, upsetting many fans. The other snub seemed to be in Grammy's memoriam tribute, as Glee star Naya Rivera was not included in the broadcast. Fans were of course not happy, however Nia was included in the Grammys online memoriam. On a totally random note, Kanye West's Jesus is King album won a Grammy for Best Contemporary Christian Music Album despite him peeing on his Grammy Awards several months ago. Anyway, enough real talk, let's get back to the fluff and talk about Harry Styles and Taylor Swift briefly chatting during the Grammys telecast. Beyond their reunion, Harry Styles won the Grammy for Best Solo Pop Performance for Watermelon Sugar, and despite competing in the same category, Taylor Swift was seen giving him a standing ovation. Seems like it was instant karma because Taylor herself ended up winning the Album of the Year later that night for Folklore. Also, this is important, the Harry Taylor stuff, because they dated. That's it for today's video. Let me know if you watched the Grammys, which performance was your favorite, and comment below. Bye, guys.